Welcome back to Undertale. I believe we're about to meet Asgore, and I think we're about to make a very hard decision, since Alphys just told us that we need a monster soul to be able to pass through, which means we might need to kill Asgore. Oh, that's so cool. I love backgrounds like that. I think that's called parallaxing, I want to say. So wait, where does this elevator go? The elevator's in use. Hmm? If I wait long enough, will the person reach their destination? I guess there's only one way to find out. By waiting here for it? No, let's just go. Oh, right, let me try to call Papyrus and Undyne. There's no response. Oh. What about Toriel? Nope. It's so quiet. There's literally completely no noise. Oh, this music. I feel like I've heard this music before. I swear I've heard this music before. Is this like a remix of a song that I heard earlier in the game? Hmm. Another pile of leaves. This one's gray, though. Everything's gray. New home. Hmm? Isn't this the same as Back at the Ruins? This looks very similar to Back at the Ruins, except everything's gray. Uh, yeah. Hmm? The way's blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy. I I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. These flowers are the only thing that actually have any color. It's a golden flower. Reminds me of Flowey. Another golden flower. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair. But it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. This music is so good. Whoa, huh? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. So they didn't actually want to fight me, they just want to tell a story? It's a trash can full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. <laughs> Aww. Because I said I preferred cinnamon to Toriel. All the way back in the beginning. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. So top is very clean. Same as before, basically. Fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Ugh. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Hmm? Have I completely forgotten who Asriel is? I mean, apparently they're the king's son, but... I mean, have I met them? If so, I don't remember. Oh, 
Oh, this was my room. Presents? There's a, there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Mm-hmm. You got the heart-shaped locket. Heart locket. Armor defense 15. It says, Best friends forever. Hmm, I guess I should wear it. It's really good defense. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. Attack 15, perfect for cutting plants and vines. Well, I don't actually attack anybody. And it doesn't have any passive benefits as far as I can tell, so I guess there's no reason to attach it over my, um... My burnt pan, which does have a passive benefit of increasing the healing that I get from healing items. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone's smiling. A lot of striped shirts in here. <laughs> Twin size bed. Dusty toys. Room under renovations, just the same as before. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Asriel and the human became like siblings. Are I'm confused. Are they talking about me? Who did I become friends with? I mean, I've become friends with a bunch of people, but... None of them were called Azrael, as far, as far as I can remember? This must be something that happened long ago, I guess? Or there's about to be a big reveal or something. Alright, we should be able to go down now. But first, let's go into Toriel's room. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Muscle Champs 98. Huh? Robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> what? Bureau? There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Hmm? King size bed. For. Asgore? I really don't know what's going on. This looks exactly like Toriel's home, but... A little bit different. This room is definitely organized differently, and it seems like a guy lives here. Probably Asgore. It's Asgore's journal, yeah. All the current page says is, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. How come Asgore's home looks almost exactly like Toriel's? Except it's mostly gray. It's an old calendar from the end of 21X. A date is circled on it. Hmm. I mean, most things are basically the same. A couple things are a little bit different. But this is almost exactly the same as Toriel's place. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. <clears throat> Alright, I mean the village would be on the surface. They can't go to the surface to get the flowers. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael, racked with grief, 
absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? <laughs> no? It was all epic there for a bit, but now it's quiet and lonely again. There's no music. You're going to be free. Me? Hmm? Wait, what's down here? Last corridor. Well, that's obviously where I'm supposed to go, so in that case... Oh. What the heck is that for? I guess just a shortcut, but I, I don't have any reason to go back right now. Papyrus? Undyne? Nope. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. Okay. 
I'm okay with that. I think I've, I think I've been an admirable human being. You'll be judged for every experience you've earned. I, I've earned zero, because I've never killed anything. What's EXP? It's an acronym. Oh, wait, what is it? What does it stand for? It stands for Execution Points. Oh, <laughs> alright, well, yeah, I've, I've earned zero. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Oh, <laughs> God, of course. Oh, I thought it was strange that the amount of people I kill would increase my love. It sounded too good to be true, and it was. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Sans? But you... You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. <laughs> I'm filled with it. Every star fills me with determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Would Asgore really kill me? Would Asgore actually do that? From what I've heard of Asgore, I feel like they would be too... too nice to kill me. But then again, I'm also too nice to kill them, so... What does that leave us with? Honestly, I wonder if staying is going to be an option. What if I don't kill them and they don't kill me and I just stay under underground with the the monsters. It's funny to even think of them as being called monsters, because they're obviously not really monsters. They're just a... just fairly... N well, not really normal. L let's be honest, they're not normal. They're definitely not normal. <laughs> but they're not normal in a really fun and... and, and nice, a nice way, and in an interesting way. Not in a violent or creepy way. They're cool. The monsters are cool. I wouldn't mind staying with them. Then again, I probably have a family above ground, right? I bet they miss me. Throne room. Wait, what's down here? Silence. 
Um, are these... Are these where the humans' souls are kept? Are these the souls of all the other humans? And I'm assuming this one is empty because this would be mine. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Uh. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> yep. I think I maybe ruined a very dramatic scene with my name. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, the H's are capitalized, so I guess it's more like, uh? You kind of got to, like, really get into it with the H's, you know, because they're supposed to be kind of yelled. Hmm. <sighs> it's funny, there's, like, no security around here. You'd think they'd be behind, like, vaults or something. But, nope, they're just in a room near the throne entrance, and there isn't even a door. Do, do, do. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. This place is beautiful. The king's flower, the king's garden. Hmm. What's this? It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Did that used to be the queen's throne? Before she... Well... What did happen to the queen? I guess she must have died. Um... Papyrus? Undyne? Here we go. How tense. Just think of it like... a visit to the dentist. Hey, I actually went to the dentist, dentist yesterday. Had four or five, five fillings, actually. Wasn't too bad, to be honest. I have a feeling this is going to be much more heartbreaking and disturbing than going to the dentist. Are you ready? 
If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Yeah. I'm as ready as I can be. Whoa. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. No, I don't think I have any unfinished business. Although I never did win those snail races. Ah. <sighs> Ah, oh, well. We can't have everything in life. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with... Determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. As Gore-Tex. Okay, they don't look so nice anymore. I guess they are willing to kill me. All I can do is talk. <laughs> I don't even have any healing items. Except the snow piece, which I never got a chance to use. There was never anywhere to use it. Let's talk. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm so gonna die like a million times over. I have no healing items, and there's like no quick way to get to somewhere I can get healing items. Oh, I could go back to the elevator, but uh... Yup. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh my god, that's really friggin' hard. I'm almost about to die. Firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Okay, I've got one hit point. Seems talking won't do more good. Any more good, rather. Okay. Please don't attack me. Okay, cool. Stay determined. I will. Alright, I'm gonna give that one more try, now that I know some of his attacks. And if it still looks hopeless, uh, I guess I'll go back for healing items. I guess stay in the center and then just go off to the side would avoid that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I did a little tiny, tiny bit better there. Oh, not a good place to be. I'm doing marginally better.
Wait, I still got... How was I supposed to avoid that? I still got hit. I don't know. Okay, that's pretty easy to avoid, thankfully. Um, can I eat my... Can I eat my apron? Is it an edible apron? I'm still gonna die. Oh, that's a really cool attack. Hmm. It seems talking won't do any more good. Okay, but that's all I can do, aside from attacking him, right? Um, do I actually have to attack him? The game wouldn't force me to attack him, would it? I mean, I've been forced to flee before. But I've never been forced to attack. Let's check him. 80 attack, 80 defense. Jesus. Whoa! Toho! Oh. Mm. It doesn't seem like talking is going to do anything. I don't know what you're supposed to do to avoid that. There's some sort of telegraphing where, like, a couple lights blink. Um... What is... Oh, oh, blue, blue, and then orange, right? So that means... For blue, I need to not move, right? And then for orange, I need to be moving to avoid getting hit? That must be it. Okay, I, yeah, I get that now. Okay, I'm not gonna go back for healing items. I will stay determined. I will pry that cheese from the table. Still got hit. <laughs> but I get hit by like jamming my face into the hands rather than actually getting hit by the projectiles. Oh my god. It, uh, why is that so hard? Fuck my life. Just kill me. I should probably go back for healing items. Hmm. I think those projectiles might target in on me, so I think I maybe need to keep moving. I think they might be like homing, kind of, possibly. Okay, let's see. Blue, blue. Oh, right, blue, you don't move. <gasps> Alright, I'm gonna go back for healing items. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. This time, I have an inventory completely filled up with junk food and a single snowman piece. I think I got this one. So even though Mercy's been destroyed and it seems like I can't actually spare them, and it does also say that talking continues to do nothing after their attack and defense drops, I'm still gonna try it for a bit just to see if something happens. I'll just I'll just try it for a bit. I've got a lot of healing items, a lot of junk food to stuff down my throat, so let's use it. You tell Asgore that he's killed you three times. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he nods sadly. All right. Okay. Yep, yeah, that should do okay. Whew. Okay. Whew. Definitely getting better at this. Okay, uh orange, orange. Orange, so move, move, move. Alright. Yep. Gotcha. That one's really easy to avoid, as long as you remember what to do. This attack is really cool, I like it. Toho, toho, toho! Uh, oh, Jesus. 
There must be a fan game. I don't know what fan game it is, or maybe it's multiple fan games, but I remember at least one fan game where there's like this spinning globe of dots, and the spin changes direction with where it's spinning, and you have to stay... You, st you have to keep yourself from hitting the dots, and it's really just like a... It just screws with your mind. It's really, really, really difficult. It's difficult to watch, and I'm sure it's way more difficult to actually play. Yeah, I seriously don't think talking's gonna work, but I haven't even used a single healing item, so I'm gonna keep trying it. Okay. Don't move, don't move, move. Don't move, don't move, move. All you can do is fight. I don't believe you. Okay, those are harder? Okay, I need to heal really badly. Alright, there we go. Okay, those spin! Whew. Definitely getting harder. Okay, uh, don't move, don't move, don't move. Easy enough, <laughs> just don't move. Jesus, it's hard. I'm already down to 8 health? My god. Ooh! Oh my god. That was scary. I really think talking is not gonna work. Alright, don't move, move, move. Don't move, move, move. Uh, I think I maybe did that a little too late. Attacks are definitely getting faster. <sighs> oh, that's not, not a good way to go! Got myself trapped. The attacks are getting faster, which makes me think something is happening in the fight, and it's worth continuing down this path of just talking. Whoa, whoa! Jesus! How did I not get hit there? Fuck! <laughs> I basically just spammed movement there, I didn't even really do anything. <laughs> so fast. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh. It's getting really fast. I better heal. <sighs> Maybe Asgore, Asgore will tire himself out? <laughs> I'm probably wasting my time here, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. It's getting to the point where I literally like can't even move fast enough. Look, this is a big thing. This is the final boss of the game. This is freaking Asgore. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna use up all my healing items. I'm gonna use up all my healing items and try to outlast him, and if that doesn't do anything, then I'll fight him. But I'm not fighting him before then. Whew, nice. I'm proud of myself for that one. <laughs> this really doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh... Uh. Whoops, didn't mean to look at him. Mm, I'm gonna heal. Easy enough, just don't move. This really does not seem to be doing anything. This really, really doesn't seem to be doing anything. The game is telling me it won't do anything, but I don't believe it. Okay, I'm almost dead. these projectiles go. It's so confusing.
Yeah, this really isn't going to do anything. Yeah, okay, you know, I'm going to kill myself, actually. This isn't going to do anything. I do have to fight him. I have to fight him. Alright. Alright, Asgore, I'll fight you. I don't want to, but I literally have to. I literally have to. So let's talk until defense and attack drops, and then attack. Why is it so hard to avoid getting hit by those? It confuses my brain. I don't understand their movements. I don't know if they track me or not. I feel like they do, but I don't know. Okay. Um, that's it, right? The attack and defense drop, so time to fight. Okay, I've never actually done the fighting minigame, but I think you just need to, like, hit it as close to the center as possible to get the most damage. Yeah, um, I guess I should have equipped my weapon then, the new one. I've still got my burnt frying pan which I'm just using the passive from. Oh well. I did not do much damage. there, but I didn't. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Ugh. It's so con fucking confusing! I hate that attack! Damn you, Asgore! Oh, ah, fuck. I was cornering myself there. I knew it. Tried to move out of the way, but it just made it worse. Mm, I don't need to heal yet. No, no, don't act. What am I doing? Okay, now I should heal. If I get him down in health and then talk to him, maybe something will happen. Like, maybe if I get him really, really low, he'll give up. Pause there for a second, had a phone call. Anyway, back to fighting Asgore. Yeah, those weren't very good hits. Ooh. Couldn't see what the heck was going on there. This is going to be hard to do even with uh, an entire inventory, except for one item filled with healing items. Damn, I can't imagine doing this with no healing items. Oh. Yeah, they're already getting really fast. And they're only down to half? Ugh.
They really do track me, don't they? I'm pretty freaking sure they do. Oh. God. That attack is, like, by far the one I'm the worst at. Alright, I'll get back there and I'll be right back. Okay, they're right about to have health. Uh, this time I attacked, uh, attached the... I think it's called the Worn Dagger instead of my Burnt Pan, which does 15 damage instead of 10. And it also seems to have a different attack style. Uh, I've never actually fought before, so I didn't realize that different weapons have different attack styles, but apparently they do. Because the Burnt Pan, if you remember, had like, a like what, three to five attacks? Like separate things you had to hit on the marker? However, the Dagger only has one, which is actually quite nice. I think it makes it easier to use. Yeah, it's just got the one. So it's really nice. Oh, I'm gonna take a ton of damage here. Oof. Pretty much guaranteed to get hit once. Just keep moving. Ooh, 150. Oh, God. Hmm, should I heal? How many do I have? I've got four junk foods left. Yeah, I should probably heal. Oh, God, not these. I, ah! I never know where to stand. Not this, not this, not this. I need to heal. Not this either. Ah, go forwards, go backwards, and it doesn't fucking matter, I get hit anyway. Ooh, that was a good hit. Whoa, they're taking more and more damage. Like, they seem to be taking exponentially more damage. Has low HP. Okay, okay, I was thinking, if they have low HP, maybe I can talk to them, so let's try it. Seems talking. Oh no. Still not gonna work, huh? Oh, got hit once. Still not bad. I should probably heal. They're not dead. I don't think they're dead. Ah. So that is how it is. Their HP bar was very, very low, but it wasn't all the way down. Are they actually dead? I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Oh, that's Toriel! I just realized it, the horns. The horns, that's Toriel. His wife. And that's why she tries to stop any humans coming to the underground. I didn't even think about that, but it's blindingly obvious now. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. 
This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy, of course. After everything I've done to hurt you? You would rather stay down here and suffer? Than live happily on the surface? Yeah. Human. I promise you. For as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. <laughs> could it, um, <clears throat> could it be cinnamon? You know, but butterscotch is fine. But butterscotch is fine. It's okay. We could be like, like a family. Oh God, is that flowey? God damn it, Flowey. <sighs> you idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. What the? The game just closed. <laughs> the game just literally shut down. Um, I'm scared to start it up again. Okay, so Flowey murdered Asgore, and then absorbed all the human souls, and then... I, w I don't know, what's it gonna do next? Leave and torment the humans, or become a god, or both, or... Uh, let's start up the game again. I'm pretty sure stuff is going to be different this time. Long ago, oh, look at that. Two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. The image is different. One day, <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh-oh. Flowey, level 9,999, Finally raced. Uh oh. Howdy! It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, oh, you're not feeling left out, aren't you? Or, you're feeling left out, aren't you, rather? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then... With my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey 
has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh dear god, what is this? What in the hell is this? Um, I can't move by the way. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Ew. Okay. Oh my god, this is a very different art style, and I'm totally gonna die. What the hell is this? I'm so gonna die. Yeah. What in the hell is that thing? Okay. <clears throat> it's all just a bad dream. I wish. And you're never waking up. <laughs> now I've got to start up the game again. Fine. As many times as it takes. He he he. Do you really think I was going to be satisfied? Killing you only one time? Okay, um, what am I supposed to do? Just survive? Or, like, a little thingy popped up for a second that said fight. I don't, I don't know if I was supposed to touch that and then use it, or what. I was kind of overwhelmed by, um, everything. <clears throat> I think it's a terrifying mishmash of art styles and, like, clip art. It's like almost impossible to avoid this stuff. Okay, I touched fight. That did... That did like one point of damage. Warning. What is that? Warning what? What the... Oh god. What the f mm -mm. Oh, I touched it! You called for help. That would be great! Oh, bandages. I guess it's like the human souls that are helping me or something. I don't know. Oh god, back to this. Ah! Venus flytrap or whatever is collecting the flies. Jesus! Okay, more help. Please help me, please help me, please help me. Please help me, please help me. Heal me. Oh god, I need- Oh, I need more healing than that! Fuck, that wasn't enough! I'm gonna die. What the- What the- I don't know what's happening. What- What is happening? Help, 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 
help right now. Right. Oh, thank God. Get them all, please. Max health, please. Max health. That's not max health, but it's close. I have no idea how to avoid that. It's like literally almost impossible, I'm pretty sure. I'm very close to dying. I'm really, 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 really close to dying. Okay, thank god. Although I still have to survive in this other world for a little a little bit of time to get the healing. Alright. What is what is this? Am I supposed to avoid that? Okay, those hurt. Words hurt. Gotcha. Yes, help, help, help. You call for help. Good. Please answer. More. 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 Oh, it's not enough! Uh, it's like reloading, saving, I don't know. Glitching, I don't know what's happening. Okay, good. What's this? Oh. Oh. Oh! Come here! Oh. Ooh, cookies! Almost max health. I've done, like, no damage to this thing. Please shoot me. Please shoot me. Shoot me with your love gun. Oh man, that was not much. Ooh, what's this? Ooh! Yes, give me hope. Flowers, thumbs up, bandages, cookies. I'll take all of it. Thank you, human souls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, I still need to kill this thing. Flowers' defense dropped to zero. Good! Where the hell am I? Oh. Okay, so this is the real fight, isn't it? Still really hard to avoid these. I really don't know how, and I'm taking more damage than I'm healing by far. Please stop doing this attack, I can't avoid it. Stop! really is like Toho, except like 50 million times more insane. Oh, did I do it? No. No! 
This can't be happening! You! You! You idiot! <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I'm the god of this world, and you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy! Daddy! Somebody help! See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... <laughs> Load failed. Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! I still haven't killed anything. I really want to do that again, but can I really let Flowey live? Sure, maybe it'll be my friend now. They're totally not gonna be my friend. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? Yeah, you've learned all about friendship, right? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. Eh. If you let me live, I'll come back. Mm. <laughs> is this one of those things where I'm really gonna regret it? Fighting is honestly the only sensible option. Mercy? Doing mercy is not sensible. Not here. Gone this far without killing anything. I'll kill you. Mm. That's fine. I'll kill everyone. Mm. Mm. Could this be a test? Could somebody be testing me? Maybe, maybe Asgore wasn't killed, that was just... That was CGI. This is the true test to see whether I'm a good person. Right? Right? <laughs> I'll kill everyone you love.
Okay. This might be a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. See, they're going to be my friend. Wait, so is Temmie the actual name of somebody who worked on the game? Is that where the Temmies came from? Is this actually the end of the game? Hey, Is anyone there? Well, just calling to say... You made a snowman really happy. Ah, the snowman piece I took to the end of the world! <gasps> yes! I even kept it on my person instead of in my dimensional box access through my phone, just in case I couldn't actually get at the dimensional box from outside of the underground, the underworld. I'll have you know that snowman piece took up a slot that could have been used for junk food. That's how much I value you. Guess I should say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. Hmm, I guess with Asgore dead, yeah, they would need a ruler. Makes sense for her to come back. She instated a new policy. All the humans fall, who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. If we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. <laughs> they guard the flowers, I guess. That's awesome. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of... explosion-inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Nigga. <laughs> Please don't noogie the phone. 
Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh. Yeah, that's right! I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. Ah, head of the Royal Guard, the exclusive one-person club. I guess that makes him the head and the feet and the rest of the body, too. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm working as, uh, as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, Eat. Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey! Wait a second! Toriel! Toriel, do you wanna... <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, I hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you. Okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Hey, Flowey. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. Hmm. Okay. This feels...
kind of like a trap. But, um... I guess I'll go back and talk to Dr. Alphys. I've heard from people that it's... I, I believe they said it was impossible to get the, um... The... What was the ending called? I guess basically the good ending, like the happy ending. It's impossible to get the happy ending the first time through. The best you can get is the neutral ending. I think that's what they said. So I guess I got the neutral ending. Where not everything was okay. Obviously the monsters were still trapped. Asgore died. So things were definitely not great, but... It also definitely was not the... Uh, the genocide route or anything like that, which is... An, an ending I believe you can get if you kill every single monster you come across. So I guess that was the neutral ending, and it sounds like... It sounds like there is another ending. And it sounds like it's not a hidden ending necessarily, but... One that you're actually encouraged by the game to go get. So... Back to Dr. Alphys. Okay, this is right before the fight, right? Yeah. Let me just briefly go back and see if anything major has changed here. Or is this all the same? Okay, this all looks the same, so I guess I really do have to just make my way all the way back to Dr. Alphys. And she is pretty far away, so that's going to take some time. But yeah, I'm going to go speak to her, and I'll be right back.